Hi there, welcome to another Kevy Shaves. It's nice to see you and it's nice to be here shaving in front of the camera again. I'm starting today's shave with Purasso White Pre-Shave and I've already rubbed that in and I will just show you the bottom of the jar. Ooh, uh, yeah, there's not much of this left now. Um, still enough for a few shaves, I think. The razor for today is this. This is the Parker. 76R. Uh, this is a, a twist to open razor. You twist the bottom and the doors open. And inside that I have a, if you guys can see, a feather blade. And that's the second use on that blade. Yeah, uh, twist the bottom and the doors close again. This is a nice razor. It's got nice knurling on the handle. Um, you guys can see that there. It's got a nice weight to it, a nice length. Uh, yeah, so I haven't used this in a while, a good while, so I thought I'll give it an outing today with the feather blade. So I'll put that in the water to get some heat into the blade. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all well. The brush for today is the Omega S brush. Uh, this was gifted to me a couple of weeks back by Dave. Dave Card, so thank you Dave, I'm going to use that again today. Uh, a nice, it's a kind of bluey colour. Yeah, so that's a synthetic. It's supposed to be like a bore knot. <laughs> I'll just put that in the water. The soap for today is this. This is a Parma Inspiration. This is Inspirazione da Parma. And I apologise to anyone from Italy or that speaks Italian if I am making an absolute balls up of that. Inspiration, Inspiration de Parma. This is a, a Katie's Bubbles soap. Um, and it's based on Aqua de Parma. Obviously, Parma Inspiration. Uh, and this is from Razor Blades and More. You can only buy this. I don't think you can buy it from Katie's Bubbles or anywhere else except Razor Blades and More. Um, and I'll just show you the soap. I bought this from uh, someone while I was in the States. It's quite a soft soap. Um, yeah, but it's Aqua de Parma. <laughs> yeah, it's just wonderful. Uh, I'm not going to bloom it. I'm just going to use it as it is, like that. So, uh, as I say, I've already rubbed the pre-shave in. So, I'm going to take the brush and I'll give it a little shake out. And we will start to load the brush with the soap. Katie's Ball soaps are uh, fantastic. Great performers. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe someone can tell me. Uh, oh, the scent. <laughs> Maybe someone can tell me why it's only available through razor blades and more. And I don't think it's available through Katie's Bubbles website. Maybe it is, I don't know. I've not checked. I only checked on razor blades and more because I couldn't remember the name of it. <laughs> of the website. I'm losing my mind. It's too close to Christmas. Yeah, two and a half weeks until Christmas. Just over two and a half weeks. <laughs> There's such a flying everywhere. But it's a oh it's a wonderful scent. And I'm just loading the brush. Yeah, the reason I wanted to use all these products is because it is coming up for Christmas and everyone has um, shave lists, what they want, pre-shaves, soaps, creams, balms, brushes, blades, razors, everything like that. And I think I've got a nice load on the brush there and there's still some soap in there so uh, yeah the pre-shave's on but I'll just wet my face a little bit. Um, yeah, it's coming up to Christmas, so I just wanted to use lots of different products because there is so much out there at the moment, and this is quite dry, so I'm just dipping the tips of the brush. Yeah, there's so many different products out there you can um, ask friends and relatives to buy you. Um, Again, I'm just dipping the tips. So much choice. 
from online stores and bricks and mortar stores of course some uh, bricks and mortar stores are some even department stores are stocking um, shaving stuff which is a good thing and again this seems to be quite a thirsty soap so just going to dip the tips again and watch the lather explode this is a fantastic scent really nice if you've never smelt aqua de parma before go into a, a, a department store Usually the bigger department stores will have some aqua de parma. And just have a have a spray of it. It's really, really nice. Well it's a uh, aqua de parma, the real thing, is very expensive. But hey, Christmas is coming up. So, if everyone's been well behaved this year, you may be able to ask for some Aqua de Parma. Okay, this smells nice. Parker 76R Feather Second Use. And That is nice. Very slick. And uh, I would expect nothing else from Katie's Bubbles. They're great soaps. Oh, and this is a nice razor with the feather. Very nice. Just uh, shading past my ear there, and just to be aware, there is quite a bit of uh, blade exposure at the ends, at the edges here, which you can see just here and here at the end. So just be careful if you're using razors like that, that you don't um, nick your ear or round about your nose. It's something to be careful about. Yeah, so it's coming up for Christmas, like I said. Well, not coming up, it's quite soon. And I just wanted to use different products um, just to help you guys decide what might be good for you. All these uh, companies vying for your uh, cash. <laughs> but that's all good. Competition's great, right? I think I've used this razor uh, once before and I thought uh, it was very good but the audible feedback on it, it sounded quite, you know, um, it sounds, I can only describe it as it sounds a bit sort of um, light and sort of when, when it's um, going across the stubble, <laughs> get your words out Kevy. <laughs> Uh, when it's going across your stubble, it kind of feels like you can almost hear it's like um, tin. It almost sounds like tin. But, um... It's 
Certainly with the, with the feather blade and the Katie's bubble soap, it doesn't sound like that today. Which is great. Okay, first pass done. Very nice. Nice reduction in the stubble. I'll just rinse off and I will come straight back. Okay, back for pass number two with the Inspiration Parma. Inspiration de Parma. Yeah, I'll never. Um, I'm making Italian. And again, I do apologise to any Italians watching. Inspiration, inspiration, inspiration de Parma. I'm not sure the correct way to say it, so I'll probably just leave it and say Parma inspiration. <laughs> but it's a wonderful scent, really nice. It's a bit um, a kind of lemony, a nice cologne. Uh, it's just wonderful. And I've actually um, tried the Aqua de Parma uh, cologne. Like I say, you can go into um, bigger sort of department stores and try it and uh, that was okay, it didn't last very long. Okay, second pass across the grain. Yeah, it didn't last any length of time. As a... Most citrus scents don't last. They don't really hang around. You kind of just splash them on and then they stick around for maybe about an hour, an hour or two and then say, right, we're off. You've had enough stinking out your skin. <laughs> A little weeper. Just trying to be careful over my Adam's apple again. Oh, across the green. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm not too worried about these. They're just like little tiny, they're not even cuts. They're just like, probably where I've shaved too close with the, the feather blade. I've over shaved. Which is what you shouldn't do. Okay, second pass done, that was quick. Let's have a little feel. Nice, look at my hair. I need a haircut badly. Okay, second pass done, I'll just rinse this off. That feels <laughs> very close. Okay, I'll rinse it off, I'll be back. Okay, back for pass number three. And still nice lather in this brush. Yeah, so as I was saying, just wanted to use different products with different price points uh, for anyone thinking um, you know there's so many different things you can buy all different prices depending on your budget how much you have to spend
Yeah, but this um, soap, brush, razor, blade, pre shave, all different products and all different price points, too. Okay, pass number three against the grain. Hello to any new subscribers watching for the first time. Thank you for joining us, us, <laughs> on the Kevy Shaves YouTube channel. It's uh, very nice to have you here. And hello to all my um, old subscribers. Old subscribers? Some of you aren't old. I don't mean it old in the sense like age. I don't, I don't want to be ageist. I just mean uh, people that have been here for a while. You know who you are. Regulars. And if you are just new to this way of shaving, just recently came over from cartridge razors, what are you hoping to get? Um, when you first start out shaving this way, and you're looking at all the shave of the day picks and stuff, and Yeah, looking at all the shave of the day picks and uh, some of it looks amazing. Uh, you see some brushes and then some of the more expensive like stainless steel razors and and you just think to yourself, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that, <laughs> I want that, I want that. Um, but it all costs money. So, but there are cheaper things out there that you can buy and I'm just stretching my skin and then it'll spring back to shave it over my Adam's apple. You see how I've done that there? Um, yeah, there are other things that you can get reasonably cheap uh, that will work just as well. Uh, that you don't have to buy very, very expensive stuff unless you can afford it and then Good luck to you. <laughs> Three passes. Three passes done. And that feels awesome. <laughs> Hardly anything to pick up. A tiny little bit down here. But not much else. Very nice. Okay, I'll just rinse and I will do the pickups. <coughs> okay. Yeah, a couple of little bits. Um, not really much. Okay, I'll just um, scoop the soap from the brush have a little feel about and if there's any little bits I want to pick up, oh what a scent I'll just do that right now Okay, and that feels pretty good to me. I'm happy with that. Very nice. Okay, I'm just gonna rub the rest of this soap into my face because it smells amazing. And then I'll rinse off with hot and cold water and I'll come back for the post shave. See you in a minute. Okay, you're back for the post shave. Wow, that's a very slick, very nice shave. Okay. There's lemon witch hazel. Uh, just a little splash of this. Just, uh, because the aqua department, the aqua department, the 
Parma inspiration has a lemon type scent, it's citrusy, oh that's nice. And there's no sting from that because uh, the lemon thayers actually has some alcohol in it, a tiny little bit. Um, I remember once putting it on and I felt a little st tingle st sting and I thought I wonder if, if there's alcohol in it and there is. If you read the uh, ingredients for no sting today or tingle, very nice. <sighs> Wonderful. That is very nice. Uh, okay, let's go over what we've used. Started the shave today with Parasso White pre-shave. This little jar lasts a long, long time. Uh, a little goes a long way. The soap today, fantastic. Katie's Bubbles, Parma Inspiration, or Inspiration de Parma. I apologise again. Uh, yeah, wonderful soap. Uh, you can get it from Razor Blades and more, and I'll put the link to their uh, website so you can check it out. I don't think they have it all the time, they only seem to make it in small batches and here's the soap here. Um, yeah, very good. The brush today was the Omega S brush. Uh, synthetic brush, very good. Really enjoyed using that. The razor today was the Parker 76R. Uh, twist it open and inside that I had a feather blade on its second use. And how did I know it was, yeah, sorry, you twist the bottom to, to close this. How did I know it was a second use on that blade? Well, before I started the shave, I put another dot on the wrapper with a Sharpie. So you can see that, that, that means it's been used twice. Um, yeah, wonderful razor. Parker 76R, great weight, nice knurling on the handle. Very nice. Very nice. Quite a long handle. Nice shaver. Very good. And reasonably priced. Uh, we then rinsed off with hot and cold water, uh, applied some Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Again, Thayer's is a, a great product. Uh, and I'm going to finish it off with some Razor Rock Triple X Splash. This is a Aqua de Parma clone. Um, nice glass bottle. So we'll just have a little splash of that. Oh, maybe a big splash. Oh, oh, man, that is that's Christmas right there. Right, I don't care about your uh, 25th of December, I'm not waiting till then. This right now is Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Woo Fantastic, what a scent. Razor Rock Triple X. Again, another different product. Razor Rock products are fantastic. And uh, the price point on some of them I don't know how they can do it, but well done Joey, fantastic, really nice. And to finish it off, I'm going to use some Sterling Soap Company Unscented Post Shave Balm. And this is a little uh, sampler I got when I was at Pasteur's in New York. Uh, Leon very kindly gave me a bag of stuff, uh, different samples, and this was in it, so I'm going to use that. And it has a little flip cap and I'll just squeeze some out about that much rub it into my hands and then onto my face and because it's unscented it won't take away the scent of the Razor Up Triple X or the Inspiration Inspiration de Palma <laughs> I mean, we should start this video again. Wow, that's nice. That's the first time I've used a sterling balm. And that is very nice. Excellent.
Oh, what a shave. Fantastic. Okay, that's all from me for today. Thank you again for watching. If you're still here, well done. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, as I said, thanks again. Thanks for all the comments. Please keep them coming. They're, some of them are fantastic. Uh, yeah, if you get a chance, a lot of people uh, don't do this, but read the comments in the shaving videos because some of them have great little tips and stuff like that and little conversations going on. Oh, I've tried this, this is really good for my skin and stuff like that, different balms and stuff like that or whatever. But some of the comments in the shaving videos are, uh, some of them have great tips and stuff like that. So please keep them coming. Ah, please keep them coming. Please keep them coming in, uh, in the comment section, yeah. But other shaving videos as well. Are, pff, I always uh, try and read the comments if, uh, if I watch a video. Uh, just to see if there's anyone saying something but, uh, of a particular thing that they use or something like that that I haven't heard of. But yeah, that's uh, a wonderful shave. Haircut for me tomorrow, I think, because I look like a uh, bad Donald Trump. <laughs> well, probably not as bad as him, but his hair's wild. Anyway, blah -de blah 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 blah. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, take care, uh, enjoy the rest of your week, have some great shaves. Save up for Christmas and get some nice things. Put some nice things on your list. Uh, again, as I say, it doesn't have to be too expensive. You can get it all prices right across the board. Okay, thanks for watching and until the next time, take care.